Hi, I'm Eleanor Wong and I'm the Vice Dean for Student Life and Global Relations here. A lot of my students just call me L or Prof L. Since my uh, fellow deans have probably got the inside scoop, I'm going to talk about some of the things that are outside. So first, um, outside of the classroom, uh, our law students organize uh, a whole bunch of social and sporting activities, many of which take place right here in our wonderful quadrangle. So contrary to urban legend, uh, law students do know how to chill. Well, just a little bit. Uh, of course, being law students, uh, many of our co-curricular activities actually do sound like quite a lot of work. For example, we have a very active pro bono group that performs and participates in projects for various social beneficiaries. We also have a group called Alt Law uh, that does um, law tech. Uh, they arrange uh, tech talks and tech competitions. We are also home to Asia's longest running student-led law journal. Uh, and uh, this group produces uh, articles, they produce the publication, the Singapore Law Review. Well, for some of you, outside classrooms may not be far enough. You want to go even further, you want to go outside Singapore. Well, for those of you who want to do that, NUS Law does have uh, some opportunities that you can take advantage of. Let me talk about two. First, international competition. So here at NUS Law, we firmly believe that uh, taking part in a competition that engages uh, legal skills such as advocacy, dispute resolution, is a wonderful way of learning. Of course, when you take part in a competition, you kind of like to win as well. But, you know, our main objective is of course that learning journey. Uh, so together with our Mooting and Debating Club and our collaborative uh, dispute Resolution Club. We organise quite a few domestic competitions for students to take part in and we also select teams uh, to go and participate in international competitions on an enrichment or co-curricular uh, basis with some funding from the faculty. Uh, a smaller uh, group of students uh, will end up also or perhaps um, doing uh, instead uh, their moots or their competitions for academic credit. Another way to leave home is through our international exchange program. We have partnerships with about more than 50 institutions, partner universities in over 20 countries. And that's not counting the university level partnerships that we can also piggyback on. Uh, for a few select students, there's even the opportunity to uh, do our so-called Exchange Plus program. So under the Exchange Plus program, students spend a whole year in a partner university and while they're there, they not only fulfil their exchange requirements, but they can pick up a master's or LLM degree from our partner. And our partners include such prestigious international institutions, our peers such as New York University, King's College in London, Toronto in Canada, and Melbourne University in Australia. All in, more than half of each cohort can expect to go overseas uh, and leave Singapore on an exchange. And that's not counting the shorter term international opportunities that are there as well, such as our summer programs and some international internships. So speaking of internships, that brings me to my third outside, and that's the fact that we at NUS Law care about your journey even after you leave us outside of law school. We know that uh, the paths, the career paths for someone with a law degree are many. And that's even more so when you come from a school like NUS, which isn't sort of limited to one or two specialist areas, but really provides you with a very broad based um, law education and the option to choose from so many different areas and aspects of law. Of course, the problem with all these choices is the more choices you have, the harder it might be to make choices about where you might want to go, what sort of um, pathway you might want to take after you leave us. Well, that's why we have a dedicated careers services unit. 
um, to help you make sense of the map, as it were, for your future journey. We also ask our alumni to return and to help mentor our students under our Law School Alumni Mentorship Program. So in closing, in case you're wondering, I am a proud graduate of NUS Law School myself. I had a wonderful time many, many years ago. I lived in hostel, I had a little singing group, uh, I even took part in some uh, local debate competitions and some international competitions as well, bringing home a few trophies and some atrocious hairdos. Um, I found that my time at NUS Law was exactly the right preparation that I needed to launch me onto a career that included being a prosecutor, uh, an international finance lawyer, and even for a short time, a director in a television production company, after which I came back here to teach. Um, I consider NUS Law my home, and I hope that some of you will want to join me and make this your home as well.